Why are these people crying? What the hell is going on here in China? So guys, yesterday new stock dropped 2.8%, 2.83%. Today, over on the Hong Kong market, new stock dropped 6.04%. Why is the stock dropping? Why are Chinese stocks dropping? All explained in this one video, okay? So there is an explanation for all this. So what happened here in China? Why are these people crying and protesting? So apparently, one of Ping An Insurance's trust fund missed a payment. So it was basically a trust fund where people invested their money in and they were supposed to pay you back after it matured. But after it reached maturity, investors did not get their money and people were there protesting, etc. And this thing is quite massive, all right? So what happened, it was a, uh, the fund name was Funing 615 Fund. And just to be clear, it's bad, but it's not super bad. It's not like Ping An Insurance, which is the biggest, one of the biggest insurance companies here in China. It's not like that company is going bust, no. And it's not like their trust fund division is going bust, no. It's just one fund going bust, but then there's actually several funds going bust. So, you know, it's bad, but not super bad. So this fund, Funing 615, and this is very... Interesting. So they invested in a company called Zhengrong Real Estate Company. And you get where this is going. And you got the word real estate. Yeah, so it definitely wouldn't end well. So the fund had 772 million RMB invested when it was uh, incepted. And then it reached maturity uh, at the end of March. But then when investors were supposed to get their money back plus interest, they did not. The fund was founded on September of 2021 and they invested in that real estate company. But that real estate company went bust five months later in February 2022. I mean, like, where is the due diligence, guys? Where is the due diligence? So, obviously, you know, with that company going bust, the money's gone. The money's gone. These investors, they're crying, they're wailing. They're complain complaining, they're protesting, but they're not going to get their money back. And uh, I'm sure when they invested in this fund, there's always that disclaimer that there is a potential for them to lose everything. There's that possibility. And of course, they signed that. So, yeah, I mean, like here is the official article. OK, so April 10th, Beijing, a subsidiary of China's Ping An Insurance failed to repay a roughly 107 million trust product on time, citing the property market crisis and adding that it is suing developer Zhengrong Properties 6158.hk and Ping An Trust missed payment adds to a sign of spreading stress in a financial market dragged down by the property crisis. Concerns have grown over the past year about the outsized exposure of China's three trillion shadow banking sector, roughly the size of Britain's economy, to developers and the wider economy as the real estate sector lurched from one crisis to another. Pian Trust was, uh, has delayed payment of its Funing 615 trust plan. It said in a statement on Wednesday, it said the delay was due to overall downturn in the property market. The firm said it is actively following up on the project development, sales, and returns of the funds of the underlying real estate project. So I did some further digging. Ever since that real estate company went bust for, for three years, all right, almost three years, from the time since it went bust to now, they only sold 21% of the available housing. Uh, that the project had. So it was just a, a very bad performance for that real estate company. Uh, despite it going bust, I mean, like, there's basically no chance of these guys getting their money back. So a lot of people thought that this these type of funds were sort of like foolproof and, and extremely safe and, you know, coming from a reputable, reputable uh, insurance company, you know, one of the biggest insurance companies, people would think that, you know, this is, going to be good and you know promising probably five six percent returns over two years two three years that's fantastic but no apparently not the firm said it is actively following up on the development 
The Trust a product matured on March 29th and was launched in September 2021. It raised 772 million RMB, which is about 106 billion US dollars, state media Securities Times reported. Ping An Trust reported 14.56 billion revenue uh, last year and 662.5 billion yuan of assets under management at the end of last year, according to Ping An's financial report. Shares of Ping An Insurance fell 0.89% in Shanghai in Thursday's morning trading and shed 1.38% in Hong Kong, underperforming the Shanghai index. So what you're seeing here in China is not only that the real estate company is having to pay the price for the downturn of the real estate market, also the people who bought real estate, but also people who bought trust funds that have exposure to real estate are also taking a severe hit. It is estimated that most of these guys will not get their money back. They will probably lose maybe 80% of their money or even worse. Uh, and there's no sight on when they will get their money back. And it's a very natural thing. I mean, like every single fund that's invested in real estate over the past couple of years that had a maturity date, you know, this year or later will not see their money back basically and this is getting a lot of headlines here in china everybody's talking about it it's as if there's nowhere safe to put your money almost all right and i don't want to be creating fud it's not exactly fud this is just a consequence of what has already happened all right so definitely anything worth real estate exposure is going to get hit pretty darn hard and guys i want to make it clear that it's more than this one trust fund. There's several other trust funds that are also going uh, essentially belly up and not paying their investors when they should be paying their investors. And the other thing is, yes, it seems quite bad that there's multiple funds and these are all real estate related. Uh, but at the same time, understand that it's just a delay, delayment of when they're going to get their money back. So it is expected that they're going to lose all their money and there's basically no end in sight about when they're going to get their money back if they will get their money back but it's labeled as a delayment uh, so you know it's not a complete loss yet it's just money is stuck you're not able to get that money out and maybe you'll never be able to get that money out it's bad but not terrible so obviously this did not help the stock market and, and uh, this did not help with the overall sentiment in Chinese stocks, but overall it's pulling the stock market down in general, but Neo has basically no exposure to real estate. So, you know, the, this really has nothing to do with Neo, but Neo stock is down because of it. And it seems like today, even in pre-market hours, we're seeing the stock down even more. There's just more pessimism with the Chinese economy in general. And guys, it's bad. But it's not that bad, all right? Yes, it hurts investor confidence in Chinese stocks. And yes, these people that invested in these uh, trust funds most likely won't get their money back. But it does not affect other trust funds. It's not a chain reaction. Uh, the other trust funds that have no exposure to real estate are perf performing perfectly fine. You know, eventually people will get over this. And, you know, new stock having no exposure to real estate, it doesn't really make sense for new stock to drop further. And remember, remember, $8 billion in cash, swap stations and charging stations alone worth over $2 billion US dollars, by the way. So that just means that these two combined together, we're at $10 billion. Market cap is less than $10 billion. So you do the math, new is severely undervalued. These type of pessimism is not uh, warranted and new stock is severely, severely, severely undervalued. The stock should be at least 10 plus dollars a share. So this is what's going on. Why Chinese stocks are down. Why new stock is also down today. Don't get too worried about this. This is not going to affect the uh, auto sector. A and one could say that we all saw this coming, right? with the real estate bust and you know if a trust fund invests in the real estate and real estate goes bust you can expect a trust fund to go bust as well so i want to get too worried about this
But this is what's happening here in China, all right? Not creating fear, not creating FUD, just reporting the news, letting you guys know why the stock is down, why Chinese stocks are down, what's going on here in China, all right? We are still bullish on yield stock, severely undervalued. Just remember that, all right? As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace out.